Hi, I want to thank the Smart Cities Council for inviting me to join you at this Smart Cities Week conference. I'm honored to be here and excited to speak about all the work that we're doing together. Infrastructure investment is a top priority and the pandemic has made the need even more clear. Across the country, as we work to update aging infrastructure, we have an opportunity to incorporate smart technologies in these projects. These innovations can provide us with information to help improve the efficiency of energy and water systems, transportation networks, human services, broadband connectivity, and public safety operations. And they'll equip our cities with the resources that they need to better provide services and make the most of limited municipal budgets. Larger cities like Seattle or Boston have the ability to research and implement new technology plans for their communities. But our small and mid-sized communities often get left behind because they don't have a dedicated office or staff to tackle these new challenges. We need better coordination of smart city programs, including reporting of what does and doesn't work. The federal government should be providing assistance for communities that want to implement smart technologies in their cities, no matter the size. We'll see a return on these investments with new solutions to problems and economic opportunities for communities across the country. Of course, not everyone knows the value of smart technologies or connected devices. These technologies can improve community livability, safety, and mobility. For example, Spokane, Washington, partnered with ITRON and Washington State University to install smart streetlights equipped with air quality sensors. These sensors save energy costs and improve the safety for urban residents. Smart technologies can also increase our resilience to natural and man-made disasters. The City of Seattle partnered with the University of Washington and Argonne National Laboratory to deploy an array of sensors across the city to improve hyper-local weather forecasting to reduce flash flooding. In Los Angeles, Traffic planners analyze data on pedestrian and cyclist fatalities to pinpoint the most dangerous intersections. The government then used the data to add bike lanes and post officers at these intersections during rush hour. Ultimately, technologies like these can save lives and transform our communities for the better. That's why I introduced the Smart Cities and Communities Act. While US cities are actively pursuing a smart city model, the transition is slower than expected. The federal government's efforts lack the coordination, scope, and focus to achieve the results that we need to put smart technologies to work. That's where the Smart Cities and Communities Act comes in. The legislation would enhance federal coordination of smart city programs, including improved reporting and demonstration of the value and utility of smart city systems. It provides resources and assistance to local governments that are interested in implementing smart city technologies. It develops a skilled and technology savvy domestic workforce to support smart cities. It improves the quality and performance of smart city technologies while assessing and enhancing cybersecurity and privacy protections. And it fosters international collaboration and trade in smart city technologies. We need a more coordinated effort to enhance federal participation in smart city programs by demonstrating best practices and the ROI to communities that may not be able to value these technologies. A 2015 study found that every dollar invested in government technology saves communities nearly $4 on average. City governments are expected to spend $41 trillion over the next 20 years on smart technologies to upgrade their infrastructure. So think about the return on that investment. Smart technologies are expected to continue to have exponential growth as the number of internet connected devices is expected to exceed 22 and a half billion in 2021. We developed our legislation in collaboration with cities and industry leaders across the country to authorize $1.1 billion over five years. We must meet the moment and make the use of technologies that can support our communities. Now, you may be surprised to hear that Congress traditionally is very slow to act when it comes to legislation on new and innovative technologies. Partially, this hesitation comes from a lack of understanding. If lawmakers don't understand something, it's hard for them to know the right path forward. 
That's why I'm co-chair of both the Internet of Things Caucus and the Women's High Tech Coalition. Our goal with these groups is to educate my fellow members of Congress on particularly complicated technology issues, including smart city technologies and the connections that power them. As we look forward to the next Congress, I still believe that investing in infrastructure is one of our top priorities. My district is a good example. It's a global technology hub in one part and a rural community without high-speed broadband or good cell coverage in another. We must be addressing these disparities in access to critical technology infrastructure. Cities are already investing in smart technologies and key provisions from the Smart Cities and Communities Act have been adopted in other legislative initiatives. The Moving Forward Act, the House's sweeping infrastructure package, included some of my smart cities priorities, including the expansion of the Smart Cities Demonstration Project to include small and medium cities. It includes provisions for resources and technical assistance to local governments that are interested in implementing smart city technologies and a pilot program for cities to promote smart cities technologies. While the US is currently lagging the world in smart city development, I see a bright future. This future begins with enhancing the federal coordination of smart city programs and demonstrating the value and utility of smart city systems. So thank you again for inviting me to join you today and for your work to make smart cities a reality. There are so many communities that will benefit from your efforts. So please enjoy the conference and have a great day.